In this video, we'll show some advanced features of uh, grids based on uh, SQL tables that support the geography uh, data type. So you can see here we have the uh, sample airports table and um, the fields in this table include a latitude and longitude field and also include a lo location field um, which is a special field supported by SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL and other databases that support the geography data type but location is a special type of binary field you can't just uh, update the binary um, a location field by entering information into it as you would um, a regular text field so um, but the location field is important because um, in order to do geography searches uh, you need to have the location field um, so let's go ahead and show how this is done. So first I'm going to go back to the grid and I'm going to go to my field list here and what you can see in the field list is if when I go to the location field now uh, there's a property here called um, uh, fields um, sorry it's over here um, is called geography field info and the geography field info if I just open up the help a little bit uh, specifies uh, which fields uh, um, represent the longitude and latitude value for this location field so if I type in uh, longitude comma latitude then when I do an update um, uh, of either the longitude value or the latitude value in the record I'm also going to do an update on the location field and I'm going to um, set the uh, uh, geography data t uh, value in, in that field. So now let's go ahead now and uh, look at this. I've turned on um, show update, show SQL so you can see what's actually happening. So let's go to say this value over there and change it from uh, 0.2666 to say um, 88 and now do a uh, save. So now if I look at the SQL that got generated you can see that uh, we did a set on the location field so this is the geography the geography field this is the field that has a uh, um, a binary data type so something that you can't update directly and so we've called we've used the um, portable SQL function called uh, geog cr create location to create a geography object from two uh, input values the longitude and the latitude so you can see here that we're updating the location field with um, a value that was computed by um, p passing in the longitude and the latitude then we've updated the latitude value and we've updated the longitude value so this is the SQL that actually got executed and uh, and now this object over here has been updated uh, correctly so by setting that property by setting um, this property over here we caused alpha 5 to generate that um, more complex uh, update statement now the same thing works on an insert um, as well so if I were to go here and let's go ahead here and create a new record I'll just type in say TT and then I'll just type in some junk values over here um, and uh, and then I'll go here and I'll type in say 45 and um, um, minus 80 and now do a commit over here I can see again that alpha 5 has automatically constructed the insert statement you can see here we're inserting into the location field and but the actual value that got inserted into the location field was based on this portable SQL expression called uh, geog create location where we passed in the value of the longitude and uh, the latitude so uh, let's pause now and uh, continue in the next video